We've got a 98 Ford Windstar 3.0 engine. Came in with a complaint of stalling and running bad. We scanned it, got a code P0340, a cam sensor fault. I'm going to show you how we progress with that. First thing we did was come down and look at the cam sensor. When we looked at the cam sensor down here, we could see it's, there, it had a crack in it. So we knew we were going to have to take the cam sensor out. So before we do that, we got to get it up on top dead center. Now you need to read your service manual on this. Ford will tell you in there there is no top dead center mark on these. So you have to bring it up on top dead center on your own. So the first thing you have to do is reach back there, take out the number one spark plug, and then use one of your compression hoses. Take the Schrader valve out of it so it will actually blow air through here. You put this down in the number one hole, have someone crank the engine over until you can feel air coming out of here. When you feel air coming out of here, then you know that your piston is coming up on the compression stroke. Then at that point, you just have to go back to the old basics the way we did a stick a end of screwdriver down there until you can actually feel the, have someone else turn the, turn the engine over by hand at the belts until you feel the piston coming up all the way to the top so that you know you're at your top dead center. So once we know we're at top dead center, we want to take this off. So we reached in and pulled off the cam position sensor. So we're going to take out the cam position sensor and take a look at it. We could see that it was cracked on top, suspected we got a problem. When we pulled it out, you could see that it was cracked. And actually when we came out, it came out and this was inside. The veins were stuck on the inside, it looked like that. So we knew we had a problem with that. And then when you look down, you can see the top of the synchronizer. That's where the veins are all coming off of it. So the camshaft position synchronizer has got to come out. So to do that, you got to loosen the bolt, the hold down bolt for it, which we've already done, and then pull the synchronizer out. camshaft position sensor sits on top of that. So now we got to put a new synchronizer in because the top of it is sheared off, the veins are sheared off, and a new camshaft position sensor. That should fix our problem. We'll find that out when we're all done when we verify it. Okay, we have the camshaft synchronizer and the camshaft position sensor tool. We'll show you how they go together. You have to have that in there, and then you're ready to stab this down the hole. Once we have the, the shaft and the synchronizer tool in place, then you can just pull your hand out, and we'll show you the synchronizer down in position. Now the camshaft position sensor should go right on top of that. Be sure and refer to your service manual. It'll tell you that this on the tool there is an arrow and it needs to be pointing about 30 degrees off the center. When you're sliding that synchronizer down inside the hole, it may not want to fit. It's kind of like the old distributor and you may have to rotate it. So just get yourself a socket on a long extension and you may have to stick that down the hole to rotate the oil shaft, oil pump shaft, in order to get the teeth to line up for the synchronizer to fall in place. Be sure and refer to your service manual. It'll tell you in there that it needs to be pointing about, the arrow on the tool needs to be pointing about 30 degrees off the center line. Now you can see we got the cam position sensor located on top. We're ready to tighten it all down. And that is how it's done.